Today's going to be an exciting day. The vets are on their way to do the ultrasound. So I got some little treats here for the goats. I'm going to try to get the coll these collars on the ladies so it's not so hard for us to grab them here. So we'll see if they cooperate. Hey guys, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name's Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. Today's a very exciting day for us here. Our little ladies are right back here. And there's one more right over here. Oop, right there. They are getting ultrasound to see how many goats they have. This is our first time going through a kidding process with our girls. We're super excited. The vet's on their way. I just got the little area that we're going to do the ultrasound in set in set up uh, i got collars on these ladies they did not like it and uh should be good to go so i'll, I'll show you a little clip of me trying to get the collars on uh Maisie was not having it at all she did not like it the others were pretty easy carmel tried to hide but i found you and i got you so now we're just waiting on them and then we'll get this thing set up Okay, I'm done. Here. No, you don't want to eat that? So I think these girls are on to us already. We have a great vet that's local in our area. If you're in central Oklahoma, it is the Ellison and Bellinger office. They're in the Shawnee Bethel Acres area and actually Chris Bellinger came out he's been out a few times uh, they did some blood tests and he agreed to bring out his mobile ultrasound equipment with us to do some ultrasound so we did all three goats Maisie went first then Carmel then Spice she was a little tricky um, but typically how this works is they typically would shave the animal and use some kind of a gel and get a real good contact with the machine since it's been so cold here in Oklahoma, even during the videos, you may see it looks nice and sunny, but it is freezing cold out. Like I said, one of the videos I have gloves on. So they were using some sort of a uh, rubbing alcohol solution uh, on the machine and the animal to get that connection. It's not the perfect connection, but they were able to tell if the, if the goats were pregnant, of course, where they knew they were by the blood test, but they were pregnant. And if that fetal tissue and all the other uh, things, that, the markers that they look for, uh, they could tell that they were healthy and it looked like the babies were healthy. They couldn't tell exactly how many, how big, how, you know, when they were due, what the sex of more, any of those kind of things. This machine that they brought out is not as sensitive and, and not as robust as the one they use in their office. So we are limited with what information we could get from them anyways. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're just so happy that they're healthy and we have pregnant goats and here probably next month. By this time, we're going to have some kids on the ground, so super, super happy about that. And we just look forward to this process. We're getting super excited about it and, and just can't wait. So the girls are definitely keeping their distance from me. They are not appreciating what just took place. Huh, girls? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you guys are healthy. That's what matters, right? And your babies are healthy. So, so the vet's gone, and he had to take out of here really quick because I had an emergency that just came up, and they had to go take care of that. But 
Uh, didn't, couldn't tell a lot on spies, couldn't tell how many babies she had, but he is thinking she's probably going to have triplets. So he's really interested to see actually how many she actually has. So if you guys, so Spice is the one right back here, the big girl. And she was wide anyways, but um, she just a, a big, big girl there. But he thinks Maisie just has one, which is good. It's her first freshen, freshening. So that's what they call when a goat's uh, going through the pregnancy process as a freshen or a freshening. So this is her first time going through it. She's gonna be a brand new mama. So for her just to have one, that's actually probably a good thing. Uh, where, you know, Spice and Carmel, they've actually had multiple babies multiple times. So they know what to do. They know how to take care of them. Maisie's brand new at it. So it'd be good for her just to have to deal with one and not multiples. But the vets are super awesome to come out to our farm and be able to do that. So if you guys are, are in the central Oklahoma area, let us know if you guys need some recommendations for those guys. They are really good. It's Ellis and Bellinger over at um, Bethel, Acre, Bethel Acres area. And I know that uh, they, they go all over the place um, to take care of all different kinds of animals. So um, for us, we just don't have a way to call all three of them together in one car or one vehicle or one trailer down to their place, do it there at their shop so they come here really reasonable so it's it's a good thing for all of us that is one mad mama right there she did not enjoy that i'm sorry sorry carmel yeah we're just we're just trying to see if you're healthy and your babies are healthy yeah i know i know you'll be okay well, guys, thanks for coming back, watching our video all the way to the end. We really do appreciate that. It does help out our channel. Give us a thumbs up, leave some comments, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell so you get notified every time a video comes up. And, of course, we are on social media, Facebook, Instagram, those kind of things. Those links are down in the description down below. But, hey, from our little baby goats and our homestead, my name is Lance. We'll see you on the next video. See you guys later. Bye.